Howdy folks, I'm Brian Kehoe from Dunlop Manufacturing here at Guitar Center and I'm here to show you the M300 Reverb from MXR. It's a really cool unit, it's got six different reverbs in it. It comes in a small little package with an easy to use three knob setup. So let's dig into the sounds in the pedal. First, I'm gonna start off with the plate reverb, which is a very warm reverb, reminiscent of um, old classic recordings from the 50s and 60s. <laughs> Next up, what I want to show you is the spring reverb, which is an amazing, outstanding, authentic spring sound that would be found in most uh, combo amps from the 60s and 70s. And uh, by adjusting some of the parameters, you actually get a really, really good standalone reverb sound, kind of that boingy steel rain surf sound. First, I'm going to start off with kind of a darker uh, combo amp spring reverb sound. So you hear that it has a nice uh, warm boing to it. Kind of sounds kind of like a deluxe style. What I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna turn this thing all the way up and we're gonna listen to some Surf City. Next up, what we have is the Epic, which is a unique combination of a couple of different delays mixed in with a very large hall, and uh, that's what it sounds like. So next up, what we have is the mod setting, which is a modulated plate sounding verb. You're gonna hear some modulation, some chorusing on top of the plate reverb, and it's great for some of them, uh, you know, $5 chords. Here's what it sounds like. Next up we have the room reverb, which is an early reflections of a small, smaller space. At a, a shorter decay time, it kind of has a little bit of a rockabilly slapback. At longer decay times, it has more of a uh, subtle atmosphere. Here's what it sounds like with the shorter decay. Here's what the room sounds like with a little bit of a longer decay time. So uh, next what we have here, and lastly out of the six, is the pad setting, and in my opinion, that's what really sells this pedal. It has the shimmer verb, octave up, octave down, that can be adjustable with the tone knob. As you turn the tone knob counterclockwise, it brings up more of the sub-octave. As you turn the tone knob 
Clockwise, it brings up more of the octave up. I have it just about one o'clock where it's accenting a little bit more of the high octaves, but there's still some low octaves in there. Also in the sound is a lot of modulation, some decay, and a very large hall. And this is what it sounds like. So one of the features that's really cool on this reverb is that there's 100% all analog dry path, which means that when the signal comes in, uh, the original signal never hits into the digital converters. The converters are all high-end stuff, and it goes up to 20 volts. It's a constant headroom technology. It gives it a real clean um, state, and it sounds terrific. And uh, what you notice sometimes with some reverbs, when you slam a distortion pedal into them, it just kind of falls apart and gets mushy. I'm going to slam this EVH 5150 overdrive into this plate reverb I have set up so you can hear um, what I'm talking about. And listen for the distortion, but also listen that the reverb is going to be in there, and it's not all mushy and crazy. <laughs> Another really cool feature about this pedal is there is an expression out. Using a TRS stereo cable into the expression pedal of the uh, Dunlop DVP4 mini volume expression pedal, um, it's easy to set the parameters and uh, you can go back and forth between the parameters. Now the uh, expression pedal only works on the functions of the knobs cannot switch between different reverbs, but um, it'll remember the settings. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up one type of sound, a darker kind of a combo kind of reverb, and then I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set it up with the expression pedal, and then I'm gonna set up a over the top kind of tank surf reverb, and I'm gonna show you how it blends between the two. So here we go. Heel down setting. And there is my first setting, and it sounds like this. And this is how easy it is. I push the toe down. I reset the delay to my crazy surf sound. And uh, here's what that sounds like. And then with my foot, I just go back between the two settings like this. Which is pretty cool. You set two different reverbs and then throughout the night you can blend it in and out or throughout the session or as you're you know doing whatever you need to do. A couple more things is um, stereo functionality. Stereo in, stereo out using TRS stereo splitter cables. I am actually using one right now with the stereo out. So I have the TRS splitter cable here, uh, one going to the right amp, one going to the left amp. And uh, you could also do the same going in, stereo in, stereo out, and it'll give you a nice stereo image. It also has true bypass or trails mode and 100% wet mode. So as you can see, it's got a lot of cool stuff packed into this little package. Very usable, quality sounds. And uh, if you have any questions, head on down to your Guitar Center or get on guitarcenter.com. I'm your buddy Brian Kehoe from Dunlop Manufacturing. Thank you very much. Adios amigos.